Hello and welcome to another Near Reading cast. As always, my name is Jono and I'm excited to bring you Nationals coverage. Alongside me is Joey. How are you doing, Joey? Not too bad, thank you. Nice. Yes. Yeah, I know, Nationals. right? Um, so, uh, this was uh, the tournament that ran at the UK Games Expo in Birmingham and it was super cramped. So, a general comment about all these videos is they're going to be quite time space. So, in our first game, on the left hand side, we have Phil Chan, who I don't uh, know very well, but I believe is from Glasgow and was a nice guy. I want to chat to him. And on the right, a net celebrity of the network community in the UK. This is Chris Underwood yeah. from Run Last Click podcast, which uh, we both listen to and love. Yeah, we do. It's awesome. Um, and uh, Phil is playing his Leela deck, and Chris is playing his Argus deck. Now, I have not ever played against Argus. Have you ever played against Argus? I played against Argus a couple of days ago in Oxygen for the first time, and it was horrible. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I haven't played against it, but my assumption is that we can expect um, a lot of tagging and meat damage, right? Sure, yeah. Uh, and a lot of, like, you sort of compress the clicks on the runner side because they have they have to leave space to clear tags. Yes, you're right. And to draw back up again. And if a false lead is scored, you literally can only run quick damage. That's true. <laughs> yes, that's right. And I guess, you know, uh, Ice Like, Beta Raven is a great splash. Yeah. There's, there's options for sure, but uh, but it's it definitely makes when it's not such a scene ID, it does make the runner think. Wait a minute, how how do I have to play? You have to play differently, and um, you, there's a lot of room for them to, to mess up. So. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's a fairly normal setup uh, from uh, Argus, who um, I started doing the. Uh, and installed a Christian Green HQ, I'm assuming, because it's criminal, I guess. Yeah. Um, and he's expecting siphons, that kind of thing. Uh, that makes sense. Um, and Lila, meanwhile, is just getting some economy and uh, getting an early couple of looks. Yeah, and trashing, trashing a Grindle, which is interesting. So, advanceable things that aren't agendas, I suppose, are really good in art. Because people are uh, always out, yeah. suspect of, they don't really want to steal their agenda sometimes. Mm. Uh, and you don't want to run against Blue Sun sometimes, against uh, Wayland sometimes, because you don't want to take a tag, see Scorch is a thing. So advanceable things that aren't agendas are great. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I uh, should also mention that, because um, it is, it will get less confusing, but Chris does put HQ between R&D and Archives. Yes. Which is why, uh, when I first went to this video, I thought that he'd installed the Rendell Refinery for some reason, but yes. Sure. Oh, there's a data over. Okay, yeah. so. Data. So that's exactly the kind of uh, influence spend you expect. Because it means that, what clicks can you run on now? <laughs> Just but one. one. Yeah. Literally, if, if in doubt, one. <laughs> yeah. You have to spend okay. the previous turn planning to run, but then the board state is a bit different. It's much, you know, you really want to be running after you've done some things, but it's not really an option. Yeah, yeah, no, I see. No, this, this, this data raven, you have to be able to break that subroutine. Otherwise, you can't run. Okay, so uh, mid-seasons. Um, I guess that makes sense. So we already, and I mean, I don't know Phil, but he won his first two games at Nationals. He's going to be half decent. He's going to immediately recognise the threat. Yeah. He's going to know. He's got mid seasons. I suppose makes more sense in Argus because you, if they steal an agenda, they then have to either spend another two credits and click to clear the tag. If I stole an agenda in Argus and took a tag, let's say I didn't have many cards in my hand, I would immediately clear the tag. I wouldn't even consider yeah. floating the tag. So but then tags are going to get cleared. But then mid-seasons yeah. mid -seasons is better because they're two credits worse off because they have to clear a tag already the time it's on the agenda. Uh, and then mid -seasons sure, okay, that yeah, time. no, I so see that. You, you, that. The money balance for the mid-seasons is, is even more in the corps' favour. Hmm. When they've yeah. got a bear mind, I've got to no, beat this trace, I also have to clear a tag. And... Or if they avoid the tag and take, I guess, the two be damage. That yeah, might bring them down great. to one scorch range, I guess, yeah. Especially in criminal, where if they haven't got their breakers out, then losing them out of their hands could be fatal. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's tactical decision on the runner side, I guess. So he's running very aggressively for someone with two credits. And then I suppose Chris only has six credits. Yeah, he's not going to res a lot. I mean, if he sees a data raven, for instance, then I guess you just bounce. Yeah, if well, he, he knows it's a data raven. Yeah. He shut down the data raven. Mm. So, yeah. So he probably wants him to res it just so he can bounce off it and be like four credits worse off. So do you think that's the archer you put on R and D? We just saw an archer <laughs> on the top of R and D. Is that where you put it? <coughs> maybe. Like maybe on a remote. I think maybe a piece of end the run ice is cheaper. Right now. I mean he's got yeah. six credits, he's obviously doesn't want to res the data raven again. Uh, I think a quandary or ice. Okay, yeah. So um, 
But that archer, I mean, every piece of ice that goes down now, you've got yeah, to think that's it's it. an you've archer, but he hasn't scored yet, so... So that's yeah. not really a threat. You, you wait and for the score and then... Archer is so taxing. Yeah, I've and... broken with a Faust the other day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> So, uh, also, we obviously know that's a data road behind the ice wall uh, after it was shut down. So, oh, Logos. Logos is a great, great a console little, in this matchup because really we expect yeah. one pointers. So there'll be lots of scores. I think it's a really good console. It suffers a lot from being a, a blue console. And, yes. are, and Desperado is a card. So, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not a Doppel gang. I think it's all good. But it's really hard to argue against Desperado. Yeah, Crim Criminal decks. sort of has a strength in, <coughs> in consoles right now. But yeah, Desperado is very hard to. To not include when you're blue. That's right. But no, Logos. I think this for this matchup is is going to be better. It's also great for Lila because you have the Lila power turn style where they score, you get a bounce, and then you get to bounce and pull the card you need. So if you can bounce all the cards on HQ, you can Logos find the account siphon or whatever. So it it, it really ties in well yeah, to what Lila it. can do. Yeah, you build of course. Up the power turn. Of course. It's, yeah. It makes sense, but still, that's right. We get Corona. <laughs> you get Corona. Wherever you need, yeah. yeah. So do we assume that um, the, uh, the agenda density of this Argus deck is going to be quite uh, spread, lots of small agendas, to maximise yes, the I ID? Think that's, yeah, that's generally... Which just makes Lila stronger, right? And, and Logos as well. Yeah, so this is probably not the best matchup for Argus. Hmm. When with with both both IDs triggering off the score. But Lila triggers off both scores. That's right. That's, that's, that's where it's really going to well. be. Um, so you expect full sleeves. Full sleeves are great in Argus mm. because you can really make that tag land. Yeah, um, and we've seen, you know, we've seen archers that that buys yeah. into the. You've got to assume hostiles. Hostile takeover is almost certain. Yeah. Um, there's there's lots of there's quite a few one point options for this deck. So I assume there might be the odd three pointer just to, mm. for, for card slots, but you have to assume assume a lot of agendas. So Leela is running archives, presumably to flush out uh, Jackson, uh, and Jackson does trigger. So presumably, oh, there's Archer in the bin. Okay. So presumably there were um, there was at least one agenda in in archives. Might have overdrawn to get it away while he's setting up. Thing is, one agenda in archives sort of fine. If there was three agendas in archives, that could be really problematic. Yeah. Because you take. I mean, how you've got to take tagging and two meat damage for each one you score, and you have no choice. I mean, that's like a way Argus could kill, right? You have five one pointers in the bin, and they run it. Maybe it's just me, but I always prefer running the the Jackson instead of Archives, especially against Wayland, because otherwise they can just feed you exactly the number of agendas they want you to steal. I mean, sure. things like Blue Sun. It's like, oh, there's three three point agendas in Archives, so I'll give you two of them, and you're going to die next turn. You know? We have the hostile score. So there's the hostile. So yeah, so Archers online. And um, Leela has decisions to make. Uh, he looks like he's so to she... tag. Uh, although, yeah, things don't. Happen. No, no, it's only when the roast. I'm sorry. Was, yeah. So yeah. Um, oh, he's taking the bad pop. That's what I think. Okay. All right. You're quite right. So we've got to find out what he's going to get. So did Leela bounce? Yeah. Uh, he has the upgrade on HQ, which we assume. Sure. So he's assume, got a siphon. Yeah. We assume he's a. Crescent Grid, I guess. I mean, that's what I see. It was. He's so. seen the Crescent Grid. So, um, sure. So, yeah, this is where you get options. So, you can bounce that and then go look for the Siphon. Yeah, or he, he could have bounced the Ice on R&D and looked for Corroda. Yeah, that's um, it. He doesn't have to reveal what he fetches, which means I also don't know what it is because I was going to tell Chris. So, I don't know what he would have fetched, but it could be, I'd say, he's, he's probably got, a breaker at this point, right? He can't get into the maybe. Of these two centuries. Maybe he has the breaker in hand and he fetches the Siphon, or he has... It could always be like the a one-off one one blackmail, that yeah, kind of thing, yeah, which yeah. fits into a Logos very well. So if it's a, like one-off blackmail, you can kind of secretly uh, camp this yeah. remote without giving it away. That would be one hell of a play. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so Koge Breaker makes sense because he's probably got HQ pressuring. Yeah, there's a siphon, siphon in his hands. hand. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, he's going to play the bad pub to break Conjury, in fact, with Passport. And he's going to gain the credits and presumably one would one would hope he did indeed he's clear back <laughs> yeah. so uh, free. but that makes the money I mean you're much happier now uh, money wise uh, you still can't run uh, too he, late he can press for HQ and that's dangerous I mean we already know that he's going to he's got emergency shutdowns and that plays into uh, Lila quite well especially if this archer gets res and then he manages to shut down yeah he'd have to 
hit it first. Yeah. <laughs> And then we would lose his passport. That's right. I mean, if you're going to hit an archer, now now is one of the least crippling times to do that. We assume he has more code gate breakers. He's got the logos, so he can find it again. Yeah, so if he's running passport, you, you can assume he's got a non central code gate breaker. So uh, yeah. I guess Rex is the obvious. Rex. You tend Rex to see. Yeah. Uh, maybe one zoo. It's quite common. You think one zoo? Okay. Yeah. I know you tend to see uh, uh, passport and Rex go together. So Mr. Leo helped draw as well. I, I think uh, Dave Poland, the current at this time national champion that's right yes uh, I think he was running a Rex a passport and a zoo one of each oh uh, yes okay um, I, I think I like that because you've got you've got special order infections so you can find what you need zoo is if you're playing against some RP it's just nothing but code gates yeah there's code gates on the remotes yeah. you need a way of getting in um, okay I get that uh, so Ferry will help because he knows there's archers around so yeah. now be a little bit more confident yeah I'm, I'm liking Leela Leela's position right now um the upgrade back down on, on HQ, probably another Christian Grid. Another Christian Grid, yeah. The same Christian Grid, not even another one. Yeah. Well, whatever it was that was bounced. I mean, I guess you could always, there's always a possibility, especially in a kill combo with Wayland, that it's a research station. Um, but sure. there's certainly a lot more Christian Grids in all courts than research station, I think. Yeah. Um, and we know he's, he's holding on to mid seasons, so that's. We know he's got mid season, so unless he's, he's ditched it. He's a, kind of accruing the combo, that's right. So we're gonna check out here again. Yeah, we. I, I think. I mean, Archer here. It's a hard call. I mean. Well, with an Archer, he could. Um, if it is an Archer, which it could be, he could break it with uh, Fairy. Yeah. And still get in and shut down it. Shut it down, right? Shut it down. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's tough, but but he's always gonna have that Fairy. He's never gonna run without some way of breaking Archer now. I think. So, I mean, do you raise it now or do you not? I, yeah, I mean, having said that, uh, yeah, he's, he's obviously worried about a shutdown. It is an archer. So he's an archer, okay. Uh, so it's going to take him down to just uh, four credits. Four credits, and strength six, so it costs four to break. Yeah, he does have a bad pub, bad which pub. he could spend on this, or he could spend on the quandary. If he breaks it, I guess there's very little reason not to just continue for one more credit. Um, uh, it's what, also what click are we on? Uh, this is uh, click two, actually. He seems to lead in there. So this could be, um, uh, it's also a shame because you could have rezzed the upgrade, which is presumably a Christian. Okay, you're right, yeah. <laughs> so we expect that. To, um, uh, oh, he's, he's, so in fact, he could have rezzed it anyway. So I thought it was five to res, only three. So we could have rezzed that if he's worried about shutdown as well. Sure, so, uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, so you can't afford to trash it. Yeah, but I mean, if you steal an agenda there, that's that's tough. You take the tag, clear the tag, Chris yeah. could credit, credit, mid-season's you, and then still have landed enough tags to possibly kill you next turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... There's an inside job uh, on HQ again. So he's going back in. He's obviously confident there's an agenda in there. But he's now got one credit, and this is click three. Yeah. So, so he's taking the agenda. <laughs> okay. But as you say... And as he says, he really didn't want that agenda. No, I don't know what he was looking for, though. He has to take the meat down. Yeah, but it is a three-point agenda, which is good. It goes a little bit against um, what we said, where we think it will be lots of small agendas, but it is the cleaners. So. It's the cleaners, yeah. yeah. Uh, he advances R&D. So uh, now he's got the side, he's going to take a tag. He's just seen Scorch. He's going to take meat damage. Yeah, for exactly the reason you say, is that he can't clear the tag. he also knows that there's a miss in there. That's true. So credit mid seasons here lands five tags. Yes. Uh, Maybe. So we've got three cards in hand. So. Thing is, you do credit off. against mid seasons. I think you draw to avoid. You make sure you're not going to die, right? Yeah. If he has, if if he has, oh no, yeah, but he hasn't got enough money for mid seasons and scorch. He can't. And he can't scorch twice. So. You would survive one. <laughs> I think he survived this turn, but I think he's just killed himself two or three turns down the line. I think. Okay. Because I think the mid season's lands this turn. Having said that, so is Mr. Lee. Okay, so he's going to go up to four cards, which means that he would need to be double scorched. Yeah. And I think I think that's the right play. I mean, the one he would have liked an extra credit. He, uh, like, I guess he would want more money, but. You that's make sure you don't die. Yeah. Deal with that first. And that's what I realised yeah. when playing against Argus, and I was probably overly cautious, but you think, you've got to think, do I want to steal, if I steal an agenda on this click, what will happen? 
And yeah. I think in that term, with, three, with only one kick left and only one credit, we make you like, I can't take an addendum. So, so um, he lives to fight on the day because, like, because Chris installed and used Jackson. And then installed in this first remote uh, behind the ice. So we know he's got mid-season to win a scorch. Would you have considered maybe clicking, even clicking twice and going mid-seasons? Like just... Credit, credit, mid-seasons. Yeah. Or uh, even, even, yeah, as you say, even credit and one mid-seasons. Yeah, well, it which sounds five tags. Yeah. And when you've got... Or four tags of E, yeah, five tags, no money. I mean, with no economy on the board, that's going to take a long time to click. Yeah, you'd give, yeah, you, you'd definitely give Leela questions to answer. Yeah, yeah. and also, how are you going to deal with this? Yeah, yeah. and with, 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 with mid seasons, maybe traffic accident as well, which is only zero credits. So he clicks for four credits next turn, Leela can't clear the tags, he clicks for credits again, and then you, and then you ask him about um, yeah, you're right. So um, an armage has gone down, which will make the get money up to fight the inevitable mid seasons. Yeah, easier. I think he's dodged a bullet. There. Ah, okay. So melange. So now this is something that needs to be answered because you can't leave a melange on the table against yeah. a Wayland because um, that's how you die when they're richer than you. But that being said, with three points now and Lilo's ability to to really have that power turn. Oh, so if, you can, okay. I think it's going to have to come down to the fact that if he can't win the money game, he's got to get his four points on one time. I mean, sure. that's the other option. Yeah, you don't okay. run until you win the game. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, if he could legwork and... You want to time a legwork. Yeah. Legwork's dangerous. You could take two agendas. That is not what you want to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you, if you, you lose the money game, careful. he knows next time he runs, he dies. Uh, yeah. So. yeah. So... Um, like you find, he's going to inside job to trash the melange. I, I, I guess is yeah, you don't want to face check. Oh, so Chris can still res it, which I guess he'd be tempted to do if he's worried about blackmail or something. Yeah, or, or it's a not siphon this turn. No. It's not unreasonable, I guess, to have like one of if you've got it's, logos. It's, uh, I think the reason he, he reses is Leela's bad. Right. Yeah, okay, yes. So, so there's a couple of reasons that you want res stuff on the board. All you've got left is the Chris and Grid now, so. Okay, so install. And uh, it's all in the remote and it's all ice behind it. So, is this a remote? He's, I mean, he's added some inside job protection. I mean, is this an agenda? He's added some inside job protection. Uh, he's challenging Lila to pull a corridor out of nowhere. Yeah. And do you think these other things are sentry? I mean, it could be. You've got to remember, it's it's three to one now. I, I don't think. Even if it's a code gate, you can't break it with passports. Yeah, I don't so. think Lila minds if, if Chris scores it. I think what's this, the best thing this could be for Chris. It's not Milan. Uh, yeah, I. Yeah. If I feel like it's something more valuable than that. Although Milan, Milan, is, Milan is probably the most valuable. Is, yeah. Protected is you couldn't get better. I mean, if he gets the money situation right, Lila yeah. is completely. Waste. Then just wait. Just get rich and wait for him to see the agenda. Yeah. Okay, so fairy. So it's a. Come on, take, take a step back to set up. He draws a lot of cards and it's on a fairy. The problem now with the, with, the, with the criminal power events is that he has the money to risk Christian. Ah, Milan's Milan. good guess. Yeah. All right, okay. All right, I'll give you that one. So yeah, he's, uh, he's just getting richer now. The uh, uh, the other thing which I guess we should mention because it's not very why you play card is that Logos. Correct from wrong. Increases your hand size. It doesn't increase your hand size. So increases your hand size. So you can go up to By one. I think just one. It goes up six. Which um, is perfect for traffic accident scorch. It's good for <laughs> yes. So it it doesn't help against double scorch, but it might help against say punitive. So beneficial console choice, I guess. Um. Well, I don't know if Chris will be running punitives. I mean, there's three. There's a three pointer in the deck. You know, there's at least one. You've seen it. I guess we can expect more than one. Yeah, I expect three cleaners and then three a cleaners. lot of one pointers. Maybe I didn't see two cleaners and a bunch of ones and twos. Or maybe high risk investment as well. I mean, high risk is, high risk is really good better for than, yeah. than, than cleaners for killing. Yeah, well, I think I agree. So, so maybe it's, it's hard to know. It's a very different type of kill deck than your normal blue sun. Or yeah. So, so Lila is continuing to draw, uh, Lila drew twice, Phil I say, drew twice and installed the card that's out shot as Katie Jones and um, has triggered it. So I'll keep you updated as the Katie <laughs> Jones gets updated. Uh, but um, if you're Chris, I mean, unless you're, unless you're drawing a lot of agendas, I guess you, yeah, you just keep using the land, right? You, yeah, you, you might as well. Just just you get yourself set, so by the time it gets trashed, if indeed it does, it's too late. You you're melange, set, set for the game. Yeah, you melange until Lila gives up on the money game and gets reckless. Yeah, you, you melange until you don't 
care about getting siphoned. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't care. Um, yeah, it's interesting. What's there's a cut, there's one cut, is there one cut off the screen? On uh, that's the case gen. Uh, that, that is case that's gen. Case Sorry, because I, I saw for the omnitude. Yeah. So there's case gen. Kind of not visible. So we've got the Corroder, okay, so R&D, now I know that in Dave Hoyling's typical Leela build, there's R&D interface, a couple of R&D interface. Sure, yeah. Um, and uh, I sound like a broken record throughout our regional footage, but pressuring R&D is really important, Joe. Yeah. So, uh, let's say I guess Wayne Love, but um, you yeah. get a feeling you might check R&D. To be honest, Corroder's just good. good yeah. Remote as well. The thing is, if he steals an agenda, or even if it makes a successful run now. Like, we don't know if they're Yeah, that's I true. Assume, I assume it is not in source. We've seen them so, in season. We've seen uh, Miss Seasons and Jackson. And um, I don't think we've seen any other influence. It's, uh, it is Argus as well, which is... It's, no, it's just 15. It's fine. It's 17, it? Yeah. Okay, so it's just 15. So I, what I think from Chris now is, is if he starts drawing one-point agendas, if he sees them, start throwing them down. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you need... It, I think a steal here from Lila is game, Chris. As long yeah. as it's a one pointer, if he gets a, you know, to seven points, clearly he's not going to win. But uh, yeah, so okay. I, I because think he's got the economic advantage. He's okay. got the economic advantage now. He's got the mid seasons. Um, you just what you don't want to happen right now as Argus is have have a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but you're not going to have a. Not like a government takeover in this deck, right? No. I mean, there's maybe one more three-point agenda in this deck. You get another cleaners and, yeah. a, and a hostile, and then... I guess they can cascade. That's what yeah. leader's good at. So we've drawn something. That's a Chronos product. That's an interesting agenda in It's 3-1, I guess. Maybe great one, in the current meta. I mean, yeah. so much Kate, and... Yeah, it's not great against... Max is criminal. doing well. It's, um... Yeah, yeah. that's true, yeah. I, I, on the day, I was running uh, HB, Faster Bounce, and I replaced the Gila hands, the two Gila hands that you normally run, mm. with two Kronos, and so much work. Yeah, okay. So much work. Yeah, no, I, um, uh, I do like, so, oh, personally I've been playing a kind of Blacklist in the H recently, sure. with Willow Wisp and stuff as well, but the Blacklist is nice, with Power Shutdown. And I like, um, I'm tempted to put in, even though it's got the standard NEH uh, gender suite, I'm tempted to take out, I don't know, say an NEPD and put in a couple of Kronos. Kronos. Because you can leave it on the table and, Bit of a number one, Willow Wisp, but uh, yeah, it is. But um, but it Willow Wisp is a bit of an odd one anyway, and that's more yeah. for criminal. That's more for uh, yeah, shapers, 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 I guess. Yeah, um, yeah. No, Chronos Project right now is so good because there's practice. so many decks with Levian, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Milan has been trashed. So presumably, whatever's going in that remote is better than Milan. Additionally, there's enough three us on that remote. Yeah. Joey, is this an agenda? I think it probably is an agenda, but I prefer the keep the melange there because the money he needs more money later on. And just put the agenda in in the remote, like right? in the open. Because if he steals it, you win. Mm. Uh, if he doesn't steal it, you score Kronos whenever you like. Yeah. Um, okay. So I don't know. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's maybe it's baiting. So but... we've got a double Mr. Lee. So now, if he's going to install a breaker and then run, he's going to run. Last click, which I'm told <laughs> um, by Chris is a terrible idea. Yeah, I'm not sure it's not idea. always a terrible idea. Sometimes it's a great idea. I would say against Argus, it's always it's a always terrible a terrible idea. idea. <laughs> yeah, I, unless they're what? about to win the game. Ah, okay. So blackmail on three. All right. Have so you one seen this game before? You <laughs> well, of course I have. It was ages ago. But uh, the but one of blackmails in a logos deck makes sense, right? So he's taken it. Chris doesn't seem very upset about this. No, so... So he's bouncing there, so you've got one more click. You can't run on click four. So he's taking the tag or the meat down? Uh, he took the tag. Sure, basically a tag. I think actually he forgot to take the tag. Yeah. He has not yet taken the tag, he sure. forgot that's the decision. But he's now going to decide. He also has a plasgreen hand. So I guess the other thing is you, you just you sort of plasgreen or click four. Yeah, that's... I mean, and even with the tag, you can just say, oh, scorch me if you want. You've got basically challenge him to have three scorches in hand. That changes everything, having the Pascri in hand. Yeah. I mean, because R&D's open. So he, does he can just tank. run before and he can burn he through it. the Pascri and, uh, and recur. Like, That's it. That, that so, he, uh, so he did, in fact, clear the tag and click four. He took a tag and then cleared that click game. four. So he's now a 12 credit advantage. We know there's a mid-seasons. We know there's a Scorch. If he has yeah. one other piece that says meat damage. That's right. How many cards in hand? Is it six? 
Um, I actually don't know how many cards I have. I think it's about to ask. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's one season. I actually think it was six cards in the hand. So he needs two scorches. Yeah. Which I forget some of the... But if he lands a shed load of tags, then he can wait a little bit. What's the magic number for you? Six, you said? Six is recently. enough. Six, six. Six tags, you just I, I land six because I would never play six. And he's got a... He's got a brush green hand. Now, no, I think he's doing the math to, to make sure it... I mean, if he leaves yeah. himself six credits here... This is classic Wayland deadly accounting. How much would it cost? Got to balance the books to murder you. So is he leaving himself three now? So, okay, let's see. Uh, the, um, the base is obviously six. Uh, he's he's paying or will eventually pay nine to boost it. So it'll be 15. So he's attempting to land... Uh, six tags. Uh, yes, six tags. I think six is a great number. Mm. Six is enough. That if, you, if they manage to clear them before you've killed them, no. then you've lost. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. But he's, he's obviously shooting for 15 tags, I guess. No, it's, I, I think six, because with six but he's broke. He's not going to, yeah. Unfortunately, he does have this bad publicity and he can get into R&D for one credit. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, so he takes, uh, six. he does in fact take six tags. I couldn't be bothered to put six tag symbols, so I'll just put a bunch of stuff together. That means loads, loads, loads of tags. Loads of tags. Okay, so there's a Scorch. scorch. All right, so click two is a Scorch. So we're going to go through the motions, in case he's had worse. So there's the pass creep. We'd like to see what that is for. Yeah, so he has two yeah. cards left. He has not had worse, so unfortunately... Yeah, it's not okay, so he went a lot of time doing okay. that math when all he needs to do is, I have six credits left. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So um, he, did, he did have six cards because of the off, so it did need to be double scorch. Double scorch yeah. He didn't see a traffic accident at any point. It's possible he doesn't have them. Yeah. Uh, he might just have made the plan just to build up the scorches, I don't know. Um, yeah, so we don't see a lot of Argos, uh, Argus, but um, that's quite a... Nice build, is that? Yeah. So you said you played it recently, is that? So similar? I think the, the key thing there for playing against Argos is you have to think every Argos. time you run Argos. Not Argos. Ar not Argos. <laughs> yeah. That's a, a different for our American <laughs> friends. And, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's a. Uh, I think the thing you have to think every time you run: Do I want to steal an agenda here? <laughs> like, if I steal yeah, an agenda here, yeah. What am I going to do? Am I going to take a tag or two meat damage? Am I going to die next turn? And often the answer is I don't want to steal an agenda That's so you it, have to not yeah. run I mean often and stealing agenda is worst case so yeah. why are you running <laughs> yeah. yeah so I mean I, when I played it I was playing against no I was playing noise and that was really bad because yes. you were like oh, I have to keep checking archives but not I too really much because <laughs> yeah. okay. if I accidentally mill four agendas but you can kind of choose when you steal I guess yeah, because you're not going to see punitive if, if there's lots of one point agendas, which I guess we are, yeah. are assuming there are. Then you're not going to see punitive. It's going to be scorch and mid seasons. Because so, there's four one pointers in the bin. You can't take yeah. eight meat damage. You can't take four tags and yes, clear them. Yes, sorry, I see what you're saying. Like, yes. Ah, what do I do? Okay, uh, yeah, you so make a good point. it's 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 difficult. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's. I think you have to really think. Do I do I want to do I actually want to see an agenda here? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's interesting. Really hard to play against, and I think a really good option for. For the sort of super modernism style deck now, hmm. uh, there's yeah. I mean, you don't hide the fact you're going to kill. I mean, there's a lot of blue sun non-vegan blue sun decks right now, so at yeah. least you have a little bit of hiding. But people are shooting. No, shooting you just if you're sitting across Argus as Argus well, you, you just assume yeah. from the start that yeah. Um, so what about the Lilith deck? It seemed mostly like a traditional Lilith deck. The obvious difference for me was Logos. Yeah, Logos is 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 quite quite common. Mm. Um, I said for that. For that power turn, it's really good. Yeah, I think it's nice, dig. nice in uh, Lila, and it means you can pack it full of kind of one of events like Blackmail. I mean, there maybe there's more than one, but Blackmail is a great example of an event that if you've got a spare slot, you can, uh, which, which maybe you do, you can throw it in, and you know, Logos can fetch it, and you can just keep it. I don't know how long he had it in his hand. He was also doing a lot of Mister Ling as well, so he was he was getting quite favourable draws throughout. Yeah. Um, yes. I think nice. I think it just adds to how great the matchup against NEH was in an NEH heavy world. Is you wait for them to fast advance an Astro script, mm. you bounce, you find the piece, you siphon them, you yeah, just run, yeah. to, and then suddenly they they're never going to find the second. Yeah, Astro bounce script. HQ leg and, work. You're going to get yeah, the second Astro exactly, yeah. or you account siphon leg work, and you just and you just go. Um, yeah. it's it it really is good. But then again, Desperado, uh, Desperado is so good with the security testing economy suite. You just it, it's such a good in criminal right now. So. Mm. It's you always have to really justify not including the Desperado. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's but, right. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that was a uh, game from round two. So um, we thought we'd feature that because we like Chris, we want to see him on top table. And the other one, the reverse was a less interesting matchup than an Argus game. Sure. So, but in the next round, now this is a bit of a thriller. In the next round, we have 
Dave Hoyland's much vaunted Dave Hoyland defending the current, champion the current national champion yeah uh, against Alex White who's an incredible player so um, so Alex so yeah it's just it's, gonna, yeah, it's Alex, gonna be a great match Alex and Dave both had a bye going into this as well so they that does not surprise me yeah. in his life they both won a regional um, so they round. would have won both of their they both would have won um, their first their first actual game in round two I guess so they were facing each other presumably on 4-0 four, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Um, so one of the features I guess of this tournament as I mentioned at the start of the video is very cramped but um, because of how cramped it was we were never actually on top table it was even on, I, was, I was set up between tables two and three it didn't really matter because it was a really good player players tournament. throughout it was a massive turnout it was it, yeah I frankly mean disgusting. you could be at this point you could be undefeated on table 10 yeah like 20 even it was a 160 player tournament so yeah, so I mean, I I never get anywhere near the top tables, you know, near on camera, but obviously have to kind of shuttle back and forth. Let's just say I had quite a long walk to get to cameras at the end of each, yeah, uh, the end sure. of each round. So, um, but yeah, so it's good. So um, a running gag of our regionals footage was that my notes were very consistently wrong about what the next matchup is going to be. But I'm going to fly into this and just hope I'm right. So I believe that in the next video, it will be um, Dave's RP against Alex's Kate. So KRP, I guess we've seen a lot of that, not a lot to suspect about that. I think they both, they're both quite by the books. I expect them to not have any strange surprises. Sure. Um, yeah, but what we're going to see is KRP, but with two of the best pilots in the oh, country. Oh yeah, like, oh absolutely. Oh, both these guys so are amazing. I'm, I'm excited, yeah. like, you know. Yeah, both Even with KRP, amazing. this is going to be a great game, so. Yeah, that's right. So, um, yes, so I'm looking forward to that one. So, um, thank you, Joey, for helping me out on the conversation. Thank you very much. And thank you, viewer, for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time for that video.